Welcome to 30 Minutes Slow Flow. My name's Jenny, if we haven't met before. So while we're all getting logged on here, um, as you prepare your space, uh, you don't necessarily need a mat. If you have one, that would be great, but you could use a towel or just some open area, as long as there's nothing in your way that you could accidentally kick. Um, make sure that you have water nearby. You can take as many water breaks as you'd like, have it nice and close by whenever you need it. But before we get started, I'll read through our liability statement, just to make sure that we've got all of those bases covered and then we will hop in. So participation in campus recreation programs and activities is completely voluntary. There are risks and hazards, minor and serious associated with participation in these programs. Participants voluntarily assume all responsibility and risk of loss, damage, illness, and or injury to person or property associated with participation in campus rec programs and activities. Campus rec programs and activities require a minimum level of fitness to participate safely. The campus recreation department strongly advises participants to consult with their physician if they have any doubts of their physical ability to safely participate. Virtual resources and activities are intended for campus recreation members only. So again, all that to say, just make sure you've got a nice open space around you. Maybe try to find a quiet space in your home or wherever you are. And we'll give it a couple more minutes for people to get logged on if they'd like. And then we'll get started. For those who are on right now, give me a thumbs up if you can hear that music in the background. Okay. All right. I'll give it another minute before we get started. And again, if that music becomes too distracting, too loud, not loud enough, just write something in the comments during class to let me know. And if you are just passing through, this class will be saved on our story for the next 24 hours. So you can always go back and access it at any time today or early tomorrow. It is 12 o'clock on the dot, so we will get started. We'll start today's practice in a standing warm-up. So go ahead and meet me in your space, whether it's your mat or just your open area. And we'll start in a standing position. Let me tilt this up just a little bit. And just meet me here with feet stacked underneath the hips, shoulders back and down and letting the eyes close here. Palms can be facing open or down by the sides, whatever feels comfortable. Wiggling our toes here at the bottom, taking note on how they feel against our surface, and doing a little scan all the way from our toes and our heels and the bottoms of our feet. And as we work up the body, we feel contact to our ankles, breathing up to our knees, up through our hips, into the belly, up to the chest, in through the shoulders, and all the way up to the top of our head. Taking note of our breath here, so we can place our hands on our belly if that feels comfortable. And notice how it feels with every inhale and every exhale. Allowing our breathing to become audible here. So deep inhales through the nose. And deep exhales through the mouth. Our breathing is gonna be extremely important here for the short time that we have together today. Every breath controls every movement. Deep inhales through the nose. Deep exhales through the mouth. 
and just introducing a little bit of movement at a time, still here in the standing position, either eyes open or eyes closed, stretching out our neck just a little bit. So we're bringing right ear down to right shoulder. Feeling that stretch. Your next inhale, bringing that chin down to the chest. And as you exhale, bringing that opposite ear over to that opposite shoulder. Going through this again a couple more times, chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder. Just continue going through that a few more times so you can kind of get used to the notion of using your breath to drive your movement. A couple more here. Waking the body up and meeting back in that standing mountain pose. Introducing the arms here, we're gonna inhale, lift that right arm up into the air, and as we exhale, we reach over to the side. Notice how that opposite hand glides down the side, and we're not leaning too far forward or too far back. We're just trying to keep everything nice and centered. Inhale as you stretch to the other side, and exhale, extend. Going through this at your own pace, giving equal love to both sides. Deep inhales as you transition, deep exhales as you stretch. Meeting back in the middle once you're ready. A couple shoulder rolls here as we go into some standing cat cows. So similar to our seated cat cows, we inhale, open up the chest for cow. So shoulders are back and down, spine is exaggerated. We exhale the opposite for cat. So curling those shoulders forward, rounding out the spine. Inhale, open up for cow. Exhale, close it in for cat. Going through this a couple more breaths. Inhale, open, exaggerating a little bit more each time. Exhale, cat. One more of each. Inhale, big open, gazing up to the sky. And exhale, into cat. Shaking that out here and meeting me in a rag doll. So just hinging forward at the hips, letting yourself sway side to side. We can create a square with those arms. Sink a little bit lower here as we prepare for some more movement. Giving yourself a couple more deep breaths here. And when you're ready, dropping those hands down to the mat and meeting me in all fours. So we come into this all fours position, shoulders stacked on top of the hands, hips stacked on top of the knees. Nice tabletop here. As we continue those cat cows now down to the ground, so same pattern that you remember from before, we inhale for our cow, opening up that chest, head and tailbone to the sky. We exhale into that cat, spine comes to the ceiling, leading with our lumbar spine or that bottom portion of our spine. And going through this with our breath, at our own pace. Listening to our body here, taking this as quick or as slow as we would like. Allowing one more of each. widening the base of our knees here, sending those hips back and sinking into a child's pose. Knowing we can come back here at any point in time if we want to catch our breath or open up those hips. Pressing the ground away from us here, letting that head glide down to the ground. Maybe rolling that forehead side to side. Inhale, 
And as you exhale, rising back up to all fours as we prepare for our first sun salutation. So we'll break this up nice and slow to start. Meeting in downward dog, we're gonna tuck our toes under, lift our hips and send them back. Pressing into the heels here, we feel this in our calves and our hamstrings all along that posterior chain. And this aggravates our shoulders, we can lessen the load, walk the hands in a little bit. It aggravates the wrists, we can come down to the forearms. But notice how this feels now as we'll see it early on, but then we'll also continue to see down dog throughout today's practice. From this exhale down dog, we inhale, shift forward to plank, shoulders on top of the hands, core is engaged, squeezing the glutes, engaging the quads. We exhale, slowly lowering down to the mat. Let yourself glide all the way down. Flipping the tops of those feet over onto the ground, we inhale, lift just the upper body for up dog. Tuck the toes, exhale again for down dog, pressing into those heels. We inhale, bring just that right foot forward in between the hands, then the left foot comes to follow. Inhale, sweep those arms up, and exhale into that standing mountain pose that we started in. We'll go through this again from the top of the mat. Feet shoulder width apart, proud shoulders back and down. We inhale, rise up high. And exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back, bring that belly button into the spine. Exhale, drop those hands down. Inhale, step or hop those feet back, and exhale, downward dog. Same flow we just did. Inhale, shifting forward to plank. Beautiful, exhale, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. Inhale, step or hop both of those feet up to the front. Coming all the way up to the sky. And exhaling again into that mountain pose. Shaking it out here. Again, grabbing water as you need it. Make sure we're still connected. Beautiful. Grabbing water again as you need it. Meeting at the front of that mat for a couple of chairs here. So we inhale, bring those arms up nice and high. We can take a tiny back bend here if it feels okay. And we exhale, sinking back into chair. So it is what it sounds like. We're sitting back into our imaginary chair. We can still wiggle our toes here, but we're making sure those knees aren't caving in or too far out. Arms come up front, holding here. Next inhale, sweeping those arms up. Exhale, coming into a forward fold. We're gonna go through that cycle again. Inhale, coming to a halfway lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, we're sweeping those arms all the way up high, tiny back bend again if you want it. And we exhale again into that chair. Trying to sink a little deeper this time. Feeling warmth building up in the body. Holding here, one more inhale. One more exhale, slowly rising back up. Tiny back bend, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, lower down. One more time with that chair sequence. Inhale, rise all the way up, tiny back bend. Exhaling into that chair. Inhale, all the way up, tiny back bend. Last time, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, lower down. This time we're stepping or hopping those feet back again into that downward dog. Preparing for our warrior sequence here. We inhale, lift that right leg up into the air. We can bend that right knee if you'd like an extra hip opener. We exhale, sweep that right foot through in between our hands. Left foot turns and plants behind. 
Inhale, sweep those arms up high, settling into that front leg for warrior one. Let's check our form here. Hips are squared forward. Shoulders removed from the ears. That right heel is tracking directly in front of that left. We exhale, open up, warrior two. Just shifting the upper body or that thoracic spine. Shoulders removed from the ears. Weight still in that front leg. Inhale, flipping that right hand over, sending energy to the back, peaceful warrior. Breathe here. We exhale, extend that front leg, right arm comes down or to the front of our right leg. Left arm glides up, so we can either be down on the ground or up here. If we have a block, we can use that as well. Holding here. One more inhale. And exhale, we sweep arms and feet back up to the front, rolling our shoulders out here. Preparing for the same thing on the other side. We inhale, sweep arms up high. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. You know what you're doing here. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step or hop those feet back into your downward dog. Noticing how this down dog feels. Maybe it's different or a little deeper than when you started. This time we inhale, lift that left leg. Giving ourselves that extra hip opener if we need it. Or we extend it up to the sky. Breathe. Next exhale, we sweep that left foot through now. In between the hands, right foot turns and plants behind. Inhale, sweep arms up high. Warrior one, go through that same form checklist that we had. Removing shoulders, hips squared forward. Breathing into these postures. Next exhale, open up, warrior two. Next inhale, flipping that left hand over this time, sending it to the back, peaceful warrior. That right hand can either rest behind the right leg or meet in the small of the back. Next exhale, extending that front leg. Left arm glides down, right arm comes up. Again, we have that option to come up a little higher. Taking a moment, gazing up with that right hand. One more inhale and exhale, turning arms and feet to the front, rolling those shoulders out here, taking a big deep breath. Let's prepare for another sun salutation to bring us down for some deeper stretches, grabbing water as we need it. We inhale, sweep arms up high. One breath, one movement, exhale. Swan dive forward. You know what you're doing here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step or hop those feet back to your down dog. Going through that initial flow that we had. Inhale, shifting forward plank. Exhale, we lower down. Inhale, halfway lift. Just that upper half. Tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. Holding this down dog here. Pedaling those feet out. One at a time. Feeling that deep stretch in the calves. Preparing for a pigeon here. So we're gonna lift just that right leg again for a moment. But this time we exhale the right knee through. So if you've been here before, you've done this one. We're creating an angle between our hip, our knee, and our ankle. The wider the angle, the deeper the stretch. But figure out what your right hip is needing today. And you have the option to stay up here. Or we can walk down to those forearms, maybe all the way down to the ground. 
using this as an opportunity to catch your breath, to breathe deeply into the stretch. And just hold this here. Beautiful. Breathe deeply into the stretch. Giving yourself one more inhale. And exhale, slowly rising back up, tucking those left toes under, lift that left knee, and send that right leg back, pedal it out here again and down. to the left side now knowing that each side's going to require something a little different let's inhale lift that left leg exhale sweep that right the left knee through creating that angle on the other side again it might be different and walking down to where your body wants you to be here today if you have a pillow or something nearby you can rest your head on that Trying not to lean too far to the left side. You really focus on pressing into those hips. This is a great stretch if we've been sitting a lot recently. Giving some love to those hips if they're not getting it. sides for support. One more inhale. And exhale, coming back to that all four. So bringing that right leg back, shaking it out here, looking over one shoulder at a time. And now let's bring that left foot forward. So creating that 90 degree bend. Walking forward as much as we'd like and sinking in to that front leg. 
We can now bring that left arm up and over if we'd like that additional stretch. Holding this here. Breathe. as we exhale, sending those hips back. Again, stretching out that hamstring on the left side. We can grab our toes, pulling them closer to us for a deeper stretch. feels good. Breathing deeply. And then when you're ready, bringing those knees back to that bent position, feet planted down on the mat. On your next inhale, bringing those knees into chest, Rolling them around in a circle. We could also bring feet up into the air if we're up next to a wall. This is a good opportunity to kind of let that blood flow down. Good relaxation technique. And if we're comfortable here, we can pick up those hips and come into a shoulder stand or even full plow. Whatever feels comfortable here. So coming into these last couple postures, choosing what feels best for our body. Allowing a couple more breaths. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly lower those legs down from wherever they were. Next inhale, bringing that right knee into the chest. Option to hold it here, we can roll it around clockwise. Just feeling that nice release in the hips, the piriformis stretch. We have the option to stay here, hugging it in nice and close, or we can exhale crossing the midline into a spinal twist. So we're keeping our right shoulder over to the right side. And now our right knee is over to the left. Arms come out into a T. Our spine feels like it's a towel that's being wrung out. Together before bringing in that left knee now. So going for 
through those same circles if they felt good. You can reverse the direction if you like. Again, option to stay here. Now we can cross that midline coming into that spinal twist. Pretending as if somebody's coming around and putting pressure on that left shoulder and that left knee. And every time we exhale, we imagine that we're sinking deeper and deeper into the mat. Taking these last few moments before final relaxation come into any of those postures we didn't get to in the short time we had today. Any stretches that feel good for the body. And when you're ready, taking this time unwinding from that final twist. Letting legs extend out, arms wherever they feel comfortable. You can come into butterfly here, wherever you want to find your final relaxation. Allowing the eyes to close here. And I'll give you just a few moments to yourself to take these last few minutes and relax in your space. Breathe deeply letting go of any structured breathing patterns and just allowing yourself to be present and be relaxed. Taking a moment to bring awareness back to the space by wiggling your fingers and your toes. And when you're ready, take your time here, but turning over to your most comfortable side. Option to keep eyes closed or open them gradually. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up from that lying position into a comfortable seated position on your mat wherever space you are. And taking these few moments to offer yourself gratitude for taking time out of your day, doing something good for your mind, something good for your body. And I offer you the same gratitude for taking time and spending it here with me today. Any good that you got out of these last 30 minutes, I hope that it follows you throughout the rest of your day and the rest of your week. Until we meet again, namaste. Thank you everyone. Again, my name is Jenny. This is 30 minutes slow flow. So usually our slow flow classes are an hour long. So if you are going through this again and you wanna hold any of our poses for longer, just go through them a couple more times. I encourage you to do that. And again, if you're just passing through this story, will be or this class will be saved onto the story for the next 24 hours. But thank you so much again. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. Good luck on finals.